Google introduced Backup and Sync on July 12, 2017. As the name suggests, it's a Backup and Sync cloud service for Google Drive and Google Photos. So once you save and sync your files, you can access them from other devices. Google Backup and Sync is an app that you need to download and it replaces the current Google Drive and Photos apps. You will find the link of the official download page in the description section. I will also be creating a tutorial on how to install and set up Google Backup and Sync. With this new app, you can choose individual folders to backup and then Google will sync your files to your Google Drive and Google Photos. For photos and videos, you can choose the high quality option to avail of the free unlimited storage. When you connect your phone, camera, SD card or other device to your computer, you can automatically backup the files on those devices. When you log into your Google Drive account online, you will notice this computer's folder. It backs up and syncs your files and folders using the same file structure on your computer. On your desktop, the folders that are still being synced will display a blue sync icon. And those folders that are already synced will display a green checkmark icon. Overall, based on my initial experience with Google Backup and Sync, I really like it. But when setting it up, especially the File Sync option, take the time to understand the settings. If not, you may end up with a lot of unwanted files being synced on all your devices. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Look for this tutorial on how to install and set up Google Backup and Sync. And thanks for watching.